you guys have been doing some tasting in the lobby, and I said that you said we would be happy to, but I thought it would be a great thing for everyone on the trail to kind of get involved. Yeah, it's already on our list of things we wanted to do this year. Yeah, so, so it's sort of like a trail series. Almost. Exactly. Like, like one every week. Yeah, just like whatever they were, just, whatever their schedule Exactly. Is. So yeah. Toby's going to come and kind of talk to us about that, and that's when I thought we could kind of do a rotating um, thing through there. It was awesome. It's a great vibe in there. Like on, we yeah. did on a Saturday afternoon, and there was like music. We're trying um, to activate. Yeah, yeah, so um, we really had a great time doing it. So yeah. I thought it would be a really good thing for the trail to all be a part of and help promote yeah. that walking trail with the hotel. One of the, so, I think the only concern I might see at the Beer Institute is because the Beer Institute is just 100 yards yeah. down the street. Yeah. Um, pulling staff out of the location where they would prefer people to go. Mm. Um, but I might be able to get staff in there with signage and sort of talk about the BI. Yeah. But in terms of a full tasting, because showcasing the BI with the tank to tap beer, doing a tasting with the beer in the lobby sort of takes away yeah. from what the beer institute is all Fair about. Fair enough, and yeah, as long as it's, like if you wanted to bring something in to promote, to say, hey, you can come yeah. down. But again, that's just yeah. off the top of my head. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, I feel like you just gave them a yeah. sip, but then you were like, you yeah. get more just yeah. down there. And that's all yeah. we were doing. Yeah. We were just giving it a sip and sort of explaining that what yeah. we do and what we're about. Yeah. Just finished the meeting with the Grapes to Grains Trail Partners, so just a collection of downtown um, businesses who produce um, spirits, wine, cider, beer, all the good stuff. Um, and we just work together to promote each other's businesses and tasting rooms and um, and downtown Kelowna. So we just had um, one of our sort of regular meetings to go over a few things, plan a few things, and. OGs, so the originals we used to call them, so from our opening day, Mick and Malika are here and we're going to give them a quick tour. They, uh, what, what was it, about a year or two ago? They probably two years ago now? I think two years ago. Yeah, definitely a year and a half ago. Uh, they moved to Vancouver and um, working at some really cool spots, Twin Sails and is it Bows and Arrows? Bows and Arrows. Yeah. I'm not a coffee person, so I don't know, but uh, from what I've heard is a pretty legendary spot with great coffee. So yeah, give them a quick tour and give them an update. Tell me who 